to you know see like what is control room that we have just you know covered and how it look like it's just like a web based control and on my screen you can see i have automation anywhere community edition control room mm -hmm. so if we just understand the various section of this control room as we first have the home page where we have all different section first is the rpa community edition where we can download the client the second is cognitive automation which we talk about as the iq bot this third is operation and business analytics bot inside that we will be covering digital workflows and marketplace which is pot stop then again if you want to have some add-ins you can go there and download digital workers or the board that has already been created and managed now the activities if you see the activities page or the activity panel it gives you the option to look for the bots how many bots are in progress how many bro i mean the bots that has been scheduled for the future dates and how many bots uh. have ran in the past and you want to look how it was does it fail or run successfully in the past so the I activities see, I see, I see. it's like um yeah job scheduling system correct function uh. so this is about the activity section now the bots <clears throat> as we understand the bot runner and bot creator this also help you to view bots so to see here upload the bot creator or a bot runner you will only file that you have a permission to see so again as i said that developer want to reside or want to restrict his bot to himself or maybe he want to leverage other developer to use his bot those things can be managed from here and then we have the credentials credential manager for bot is very important that we will be covering for short but in order to you know just uh, brief or a simple word credential means anything that we use to log in system that we use to log in on bot or we are using any password or ids in our bots that can be managed mm -hmm. in this section uh, okay i see i see okay then the next section is the device where in your case if you in the company you can get the list of virtual device you can get the list of system pcs linked towards your network and you can the option to run the bot on different devices or the devices that you have right now which is your laptop i see i okay. see i see so the very next section link with this my device is the device pool now what when we understand by device pool is basically you have the devices and that you want to run on the bot one the second devices can be you know the second computer where you want to run the bot too so all those list of device pools is going to be display on this section so in this uh, let me make sure uh, so in this uh, gui gui you can check you can check uh, the devices automation automation when automation anywhere or robots running correct uh okay okay great so we have also uh, you know terms like the work queues 
and work items. So there are lots of functionality, not just one. And but here we are just you know talking about some basics features, basic feature of control room. Now the second, I mean the last thing of this section is the workload. When we say the workload is basically the queue. I mean, what is the load of uh, your automation anywhere? What are the accesses? What are the automation name? What are the automation status? Has it ran? Has it has it uh, scheduling? And what is the name of the board? So all those pictures you will be getting in one screen, which is the workload. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Now, uh, as we have. Uh, you know, look through the various option of the control room, which is the web-based section. Now, we are going to uh, 